Okay, our next presentation is by Ala Letvulina from Nanoscience, Understanding Ion Transfer Within Plastic Crystals. At the rate that the humanity is consuming oil now, there's only 50 years of oil reserves left on Earth. This means that unless a change is made, we will run out of oil within my generation's lifetime. Transportation is by far the highest consumer of oil. There are two types of transportation out there, in vehicles which have combustible engines and require fuels, and electric vehicles. The latter is much better for the environment. However, currently, less than 1% of car owners worldwide drive an electric car. The main reason for this is safety, which as some of you have heard with electric Tesla cars catching fire. The lithium ion battery is the culprit behind electric vehicle safety issues. This is because it employs flammable liquids which catch fire during a battery malfunction. These liquids are a part of the battery known as the electrolyte, which transfers charges from one side of the battery to the other. This charge transfer is vital because this is what allows the battery to store and give energy. An ideal electrolyte material should be able to transfer these charges quickly while tolerating very high temperatures so that it doesn't catch fire. My research investigates whether plastic crystals are a viable candidate for a safe electrolyte role. It is well known that they can tolerate very high temperatures. However, the question still remains as to how well do they transfer charges and thus function within a battery. What's so intriguing about plastic crystals is the ability of their molecules to easily rotate. For example, here's the plastic crystal molecule which I study. Its two ends can easily rotate and thus transfer charge. We believe that this is similar to the way you would pass a ball from one of your hands to the other. If we arrange these molecules in a line, they can quickly pass charges similar to people passing a ball. In my research, I have synthesized a plastic crystal electrolyte and I used it to make a battery shown here. The plastic crystal's ability to transfer charges is demonstrated by the battery's ability to light the blue LED. The plastic crystal's safety is demonstrated by drilling six holes through the battery with a metal drill. Now, if we were to do this to a conventional flammable electrolyte battery, it would catch fire and explode. This is because penetrating a battery with a metal object causes a short circuit. A short circuit is the most common malfunction among batteries and it generates a lot of heat, which is what ignites the flammable liquids. However, no such thing occurs with a plastic crystal battery, proving the viability of plastic crystals as a safe electrolyte and bringing us one step closer to a safe electric vehicle. Thank you.